Okay guys, so social media has been going crazy because the full video of this encounter between a Atlanta Police Department officer and a couple has gone viral and, and during the encounter the woman by the name of angel she was arrested and initially when the video came out it was just a short video so you couldn't really see every single thing but the full video has now come out and i had a chance to um watch the full video and when i watched the full video i was just appalled that people are out here singing crying and acting as if the police did something horrible let's just let's go ahead and just get this thing to it okay first of all when we are stopped by police officers if there's for any reason you know a time we're getting a ticket or a citation everyone knows the rules you go ahead and you sign it they're gonna let you go you go about your merry little business you go to court or you pay the fines or they may even throw it out sometimes if it's petty like trespassing so for me I didn't understand why it seemed like the situation was escalated I felt as though you know when the cop approached them he explained to them you know hey you guys are here after dark um, I think he said it was between the hours of 11 p.m. and 6 a.m. that no one could be in the park at that time that was their turn to say oh okay I'm sorry I didn't we didn't know we're from out of town okay can we leave and he probably would have most likely said yeah just go ahead and sign the citation and you guys can go simple as that you know what I mean and when it came time for them to sign the citation, her partner that was with her, he did sign the citation with no problem when the police explained to him, you know, you're behind going to jail basically if you don't sign it. She comes over with her hands on her hips. She has a major attitude, you know, and I understand, you know, nobody wants to be hassled and bothered. You, you know, she's out there late night. Her and the old dude probably wanted to get a little freak on. I get it because I like to get a freak on too in the park. But <laughs> she probably just wanted to get a little freak on in the park and I get it. But ma'am, you have to be able to read the room and you know, I just want to speak to my people because I'm a black woman. You understand me? So I'm going to speak to my people for just a second. When we are encountering these cops, because we know the climate in America, guys, please, we, we don't have to make this a thing. We don't have to fight. We don't have to make this a battle. Control your emotions. Control your mind. It is now a thing of you getting back home safely. So you should have in your mind, I'm going to do whatever I can calmly and politely with this officer because I don't even know him her or what kind of day they may be having but I know that I want to make it back home to my family safe I don't want to be slammed on the ground I don't want to get in any trouble I don't want to go to jail I'm going to do everything I can because that's the way I see it when I'm getting pulled over by them because I've been pulled over and trust me I've been pulled over sometimes where I probably should have went to jail for the way that I was driving and where I was driving speed all that stuff taking account I'm not bragging but when I encounter the police I do my best to be respectful and whatever I'm going through I do my best to push it in the back of my mind because in my mind I just want to make it safe home and I know the climate in America I know that people from law enforcement have been brutalizing people that look just like me and hurting people that look just like me and my kids so I'm not gonna do anything to make somebody or make this cop feel like he has to do this or he gets an excuse today to do this because I'm a certain way if that makes any sense so back to what I was saying you know they were at the park or what, what have you the police officer informed them you know they need to sign the guy sign whatever whatever she did not want to sign she had an attitude once he asked her again was she going to sign and she said no asking for his badge number all this other stuff and what's his first name all these things that he already gave her except for the first name he then decided you know what i'm tired of playing with her and he let's go you finna go ahead and get in these handcuffs because you said you didn't want to sign i ain't got time for this i got other things to do there's lives that need to be saved and then she's like oh no officer brooks i'm gonna sign i'm gonna sign and it's like no you should have signed when he offered you we're adults here if someone gives you a command or asks you to do something just do it and go about your business sign the ticket go about your business I would much rather you all sign these tickets that you feel are unfair or whatever and fight them in court than to have to watch you guys be slammed on the ground and twist all around. I don't want to see that happen to you all. You know what I mean? And no matter what, I do feel, I'm going to go ahead and say this now so we cannot play. I do feel like, um, Miss Angel, I do feel like she, she did escalate the situation. Absolutely. Because all she had to do was sign it. All she had to do was say, oh, okay, no problem. We'll sign it. We'll go by that mirror. Well, y'all ain't even from there. So y'all probably wouldn't have, wouldn't have had to really deal with it anyway. You don't even live there in the state because uh, it had Ohio plates on your car. So most likely you guys were visiting from Ohio. So come on, it's Atlanta. You probably ain't even going to go back there. You don't have to deal with that. So for me, yeah, she definitely escalated the situation. Um, her attitude, her demeanor, the hands on the hip, her body language, all of that. She 
was the one who made that situation go bad. And, and it's crazy because her partner, he was compliant with the cops. He actually did what they asked him to do. He signed without a problem. He understood it was no issue. He asked them, you know, do I have to sign? The cops lets them know, yes, you have to sign or, you know, you're going to take a trip to jail. She chose to not sign. That was her choice. That was her doing. You know what I'm saying? I'm not saying that she should have been slammed and all of that. But at the same time, you got to put yourselves in the officer's shoes too. He's there to do his job. He's explained the rules. He's let them know what it's going to be. What is he supposed to do? Sit there and just keep going back and forth with her and giving her all the verbal answers that she wants because this is what she's choosing to do? No, no, absolutely not. You guys have got to be realistic here. Be realistic. No one's going to sit and do that. She wouldn't have even wanted someone to sit there and play with her that way. She could have signed and left. And it's as simple as that. Now, when we move on to the officer, do I feel that he could have been a little less aggressive? Possibly. But at the same time, I'm sorry. I, maybe that's why I'm not a cop. Because I'm not going to sit and be going back and forth and doing all this stuff with you. Maybe that's why I'm not a cop. But I feel like he did what he was supposed to do he's a grown man he's doing a job he gave her the information he let her know what the situation was and how to resolve it she chose not to resolve it he chose to resolve it for her and that's pretty much the end of it we do not need to sit and go march and scream and have picket signs and all this stuff here and fight with atlanta police department and, and call them all these names there's other things that they've done that we can hold them accountable for but this one right here officer brooks he didn't do anything wrong so i'm sorry but there's no case here like if she goes to court i heard she got a lawyer okay go ahead they may give her something just to make a go away but let's just be honest lady you did you caused it you caused it sis we have to take accountability we have to control our emotions we have to control our behaviors we have to control ourselves we have to think and fight these situations a lot better let's fight them in court we don't fight in person when we're right there with the cop because guess what at that time you're now playing russian roulette with your life okay that's what you're doing because you don't know how that cop's day is going and you can sit and say, well, they should be this way because they're a cop. They should be that way. They should, but guess what? They're not. And we know that. So we have to have enough sense to not put ourselves in situations to get harmed. We have to not provoke situations. We have to de-escalate situations as best as we can. And if we don't, then, hey, we just got to face the consequences. But anyways, that's my take on the video. That's my take on the situation with the um, Atlanta Police Department and Ms. Angel. If you guys uh, seen the video, please let me know down below how you feel about it. Who do you feel is right or wrong? Do you feel Ms. Angel is right? Do you feel the police is right? Do you feel that they were both right, wrong, or whatever? I personally feel like they both were kind of wrong, but more so Ms. Angel definitely took things to where they didn't need to go. But anyways, I love you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, share, and subscribe, and let me know how you feel in the comments. Bye!